Good morning everyone. Welcome into the channel. We are sitting in the Goodwill parking lot. We got here early. What time is it, sir? I don't know. I'm doing a, I'm doing an offer on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> the man so is always working. I just listed a Yeti and somebody made me an offer already. So I, Really? Yeah. Twenty dollars. For a Yeti cup. A Yeti yeah, tumbler. Was that the one that you picked up that I said matched our kitchen colors? Oh, no, it's a yellow one. You no, know, I just got that yesterday. Really? Yep. Don't tell anybody where we're finding the Yetis. Well, you <laughs> picked them up. I'm really slothful about looking in the cups. Sorry. Section. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> How's sales been? They're picking up. Yeah. 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 We're getting yep. ready for fourth quarter, even though fourth quarter doesn't start till October. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's always definitely the best. When Christmas shopping, school back to school starts, and yep, yeah, yep. it's good. We love fourth quarter. Yep. It's when we really press mm -hmm. in. But you know what's funny? A lot of times my January sales are even better than my December. Yeah, people get Christmas money, gift cards. Is I think it, some is of that them. what you think it is? I think. Okay. Plus, say we're buying for everybody else. Now they want to buy for themselves. Exactly. They didn't get what they wanted. Yeah, yeah or that. <laughs> yeah. But. All right, guys, we're going into Goodwill. This has become the number one store for me, and you guys are hearing what I'm saying. I meet so many of you. We meet so many of you. People traveling from other states. These are our subscribers, my subscribers. I feel like it's our subscribers. They come for you, too. Um, coming on vacation here, coming from different states. What states do you think you've met people from that you were surprised about or? In Texas. Yeah. Somebody came from Texas. Where was the one in, in the, one of the Dakotas, was it? Where was that? Or no, Wisconsin. I think they came from Wisconsin. That's just crazy. Was that the mother yeah. and daughter team? Yeah. They came, wow. I think they came from Wisconsin. That was such a compliment. Uh, I'm like, you guys came from Wisconsin to meet us? That was crazy. Yeah. And to go shopping, of course. There's a lot come from like an hour and a half, two hours away. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. One family came from Canada. I remember now they didn't come to meet us, but we were high on their to-do list. So that was really a compliment, but all right, we're going into Goodwill. We don't know what we're going to find. This store has been a little bit of a hit and miss lately, yeah. right? Today's going to be good. It is going to be good. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're taking you with us. All right, we are the first one in the door. Oh, Rubbermaid, these are nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to take them. I lost my husband. I'm not gonna get these. Ah! All right. So Raja has rented a new storage unit, and he needs tubs. And these are the Rubbermaid Roughnecks. Four dollars. These are really nice. But you know what? I could use these too. But I'll give them to him. I'm such a good wife. Let's see if I can put. Nope. Not gonna be able to do this. All right. Let me go find my husband and see if I can wear this. All right, so I just handed off the Rubbermaid totes to Roger, and he's going up to pay for them. And as I was coming down this aisle, I noticed this. Okay, it's just marked with a number in red. See that 36? And then very light marking, I think, for the mold number. Now, unless I'm missing some major cracks or chips, I like this. I think this is beautiful. Oh, darn, 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 darn. It's missing its other leaf right here. I didn't notice that. No wonder why that wasn't grabbed. That is a beauty. Speaking of beauty, we got a beauty up here. I don't know who she is. Very old felt on the bottom. I don't even know if I should call that felt. It looks like paper. And I don't know who she is, but see her face? Again, not very articulated. Articulated is probably the wrong word. What word am I looking for? You know, the mold wasn't that crisp. So not a lot of detail going on. We're gonna leave her. All right, I grabbed this Stanley toolbox because the one we have is not a Stanley number one. It's cheaply made. And we have a lot of home repair stuff going on in the Costco closet. I'm sure you guys have seen that closet. Roger and I had put in a very large, deep closet when we renovated the house and that's working out really well and I could really use a big a big toolbox in the house we ours is tiny so I'm going to go ahead and grab this if I can find the price there we go 
That's a steal. I love that not only does thrifting support me, but it also supplements, you know, everything that I need for the house. I can find things so much cheaper. If I bought this in the home store, I can't imagine that would be less than 35, probably even higher because it's Stanley. All right, I'm going to put this underneath so we can look at what else I grabbed. Okay, you have to be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to film the Costco closet. What are you working on? Taking stickers off. Oh, favorite pastime. Yeah. Fun times. Look at how easy that comes off now. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> so that's how you take your stickers off of washable when you go to wash items? I have glassware, I do. Okay. And now you yeah. have some aluminum canisters. It's these are vintage. A whole lot easier, that's for sure. Yeah, it peels right off. Yeah. You have a little experience doing that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. How many stickers do you think you've pulled off uh, of Goodwill items in your lifetime? Too many. Too many. You're very good at it, though. Nice job. <laughs> All right. I'll be quiet. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> All right. So this is the official Costco closet in the house. We had this space we weren't sure what we were going to do with. I've showed this before, I think. And the contractor allotted for a very deep closet. This closet, I believe, is four feet deep. Now, you would think things would get lost, but they don't. It stays really organized, and everything we need to operate the house is usually in here. So everything from first aid, batteries, light bulbs, paint tools, embroidery floss, not teeth floss, but for embroidery, crafts, vacuum bags, and I think I see another one down there. I think it's vacuum tools. It's in that last... Yep, vacuum tools. Cleaning different um, rags and things like that. Magic erasers, swifters, aluminum foil, bath tissue, paper towels. We are out of, oh, almost out of um, paper towels. Those are napkins, by the way. Paint trays with paint tools for any kind of touch up. Extra toothpaste is back there. That's out of place. Here is just a basket of different um, things we need, like toothpaste and Q-tips and soaps and all of that good stuff. Brita, Brita pitcher filters, because I like to Brita my water from my teapot. This is my new favorite soap. Okay, down a rabbit hole we go. This has nothing to do with anything. Have you guys tried Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap? I love this stuff. And on the label, it says you can use this for everything, everything from laundry to cleaning the house, taking a shower, shampoo. I love this stuff. I am buying this currently in TJ Maxx and I'm getting it, I think it's TJ Maxx, Marshalls, $12.99. That is a great price. So when I find it, I stock up. I think I have two more bottles in my bathroom. My hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray, Sebastian Shaper. I like the Shaper Plus better. CeraVe, always lots of moisturizing cream. These are our DVDs and the big bottles of soap. All right, so what point am I trying to make? This is the toolbox that I have always had as a single woman, which is many years before I got married. A little husky. I think I bought this for myself. Oh my goodness. I'm, okay, so I'm going to be 64. I'm going to say I've had this thing well over 20 years and I am finally graduating to the big toolbox because that thing is always overspilling. I like to keep tools in the house for when I want to hang a picture or build a shelf, all the things. And um, all of the contents of that will go in this. That one I'll probably keep in the garage or maybe in the car. Because when we go to the vintage booth, many times we need to do some kind of hardware change to hang pictures or put up shelves or whatever. So this is and has always been called my Costco closet and Roger was great. He built shelves for it. The contractor just gave us an empty closet and we bought plywood and he put up shelving. This thing is a workhorse. I love it. And then I have this step stool that I got at Goodwill, of course, that slides right in for when I need things from the top shelf. All right. So that is the official Costco closet tour. <laughs> I bet you nobody else on YouTube is giving Costco closet tours. Hey, Costco, you should sponsor me. And truthfully, some of this stuff is from Costco. We just call it the Costco closet because all the big things we buy, like the water and the paper towels and stuff, winds up in this closet. So now I'm going to switch the toolbox into the bigger one, put all my tools in there, and get on with the video. Hit that like and subscribe button, even if it's for showing you my Costco closet.
Here are the pots and pans I wanted to show you. I grabbed these off the red cart. Oh, it's already put away. It wasn't off the red cart. Not that red cart. That one has squishmallows on it. I think we pronounce this Belgique. I don't know how to pronounce that. Bel Belgique. Belgique? That can't be right. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell, I don't know a lot about this. I don't even know how to say this name. Copper Bottom is what made me look this up. I've never heard of this brand. B-E-L-G-I-Q-U-E. Belgique? Belgique. Belgique. Why? Why do they call it that? I'm not sure. Three pots and pans. $3.99, $2.99, $2.99. So three, six, ten. Ten dollars, three pots of that name. Here is a fry pan, 25. Ooh, wish I got that one. Oh, that's that's a different brand. Burgoff. All right, I don't know why they stick a different brand in. $28 for a three quart pot, 20, 29, 23. Consistent, consistent, strong sellers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the three and shipping those won't be that bad. All right, I also grabbed, when I went to get the new cart up at the counter, this guy was sitting on the counter. This is Anna Lee, and there is the tag 92. So I thought this is really cool. My conundrum is, I don't know that that writing is original to the doll. I don't think so. I think somebody wrote this. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this. It looks like they might have taped his butt onto the books. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, and it's got its little pin. All the things. So there are a lot of Anna Lee collectors out there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up for $7 and we'll see how it does. We'll take a chance. Sometimes I don't even have to know if something is vintage or more modern or what the brand name is. I just know it's gonna sell. So many people have this kind of aesthetic, whether it's like a cabin or, you know, just a vacation house. And it's just like a gone fishing type of motif. $2.99 for the pal. Now I do think these are vintage. And how much is this one? East sell, uh, $1.99. I will sell them as a set, super light, plastic, and easy to ship. I love this plaid design. All right, these are going right in the cart. All right, so I'm trying not to build my cart up too full without checking comps on things because sometimes I can wind up with two or three cards and then I have to comp everything at the end and it's a lot of work. So we talked about the Anna Lee doll. This is the tag again, 92. And I did want to make sure that it was worth a $7 buy-in price. If this was $1.99, I probably would not have comped it and I'm still not sure if this is original. All right, so it seems like this is the original writing. $15, $19. Oh, that was a set of three there. Yeah, it doesn't look like these are bringing very much. Okay, we're gonna visit this one. Visit, let's visit. $20, and this one is not even sold. So for that reason, I'm gonna put this back, but the older Annalise can do very well. He is kind of cool, he would probably sell. I don't imagine I would get more than $12 for him, so for that reason, I'm gonna leave him for somebody else. I guess this is the official vase planter aisle, and I am spotting these red shades. They are cased, which means they have that white inner, I guess it's paint. I do like these. I don't know if somebody would need these. Look how beautiful these are. This one has a little chip. Okay, there's something about that that I like very much. I'm not sure what kind of lamp this goes on. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> Why does it always have to be cracked just when I'm getting excited about something? That is a major flaw. All right, I think I would have bought these. They are just stunningly beautiful. I think they are vintage. Beautiful. Yeah, that crack is quite extensive. All right, in another life, I would have got those. Bins of hats, bins all over the store. 
Now, a lot of times to dig through these, it's very hard, it's very challenging. I saw one woman over there, like emptying the whole bin. Here, it's a little bit easier. I could just put all of the hats from one to another, or I could just dig. Now, this is a cool hat. This is HBY Miami. I feel like I've found these before. I like shipping these because you can roll them up without damaging them. That's a really nice one. I'm guessing it's straw. Let's see if there's a material content tag. It is 100% paper straw. That's really nice. I like the color. It seems to be in good shape and Goodwill wants $3. I imagine 18 for this. So definitely putting this one in the cart. That almost looks like a costume hat or something you wear at a Kentucky Derby, <laughs> which is a whole thing. Lots of fancy hats at that occasion. I'm sure Roger has been through this bin already. But we're gonna dig a little bit and see if we can find anything. Oh, there's a bucket hat. Not really anything of note. Oh, that's a nice quality hat. This, is, oh, this is Tilly, the airflow. The finest in all the world. I agree, Tilly. Oh, and it doesn't have somebody's name. Every time I find these, because they're expensive, somebody wrote their name in them. But this one is clean and ready to go, no name. All right, let's see what they want for it. $2.99. That is a definite keeper. I feel like other resellers have not dug in this cart. I just pulled this one out. A second Tilly. That is wonderful. I think Tilly are just outdoor hats. They're fishing hats. This one needs a little cleanup, but definitely worth the $1.99. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the cart. Let's keep digging, see if we can find a third Tilly. Wouldn't that be nice? Tennessee somebody or another. Tilly has a real canvas look to it, at least the ones I've found. I'll have to take a look at Google Image Together, look at comps, so I can show you what kind of prices a Tilly will do. I'm guessing 35 for the green one, and probably, I'm going to guess 28 to 30 for the, um, the beige one. North Wildwood. Beach, please. That's cute. See, this one's foldable, so to ship it is, is not hard. I don't know that this one has a branding on it. I think this is just sold probably at a beach gift store, would be my best guess. All right, this does get cumbersome. A lot of hats. All right, let's look at this one. Let's move things over to the other one, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Three hats, good score. Between the three, I would imagine I'm gonna make like set well. I'm gonna sell them for $75 total. Now I will sell them separately. It's not like I'm selling them together. Ooh, who's making this one? Doesn't feel as high quality. I don't see a label in it besides this little piece of white something or another. So I'm gonna wait on that one. There's a bola. That's kind of cool. Who's making that? Hats in the Belfry. Okay, where is this made? It's 100% wool, fedora, hats in the Belfry. I'm gonna look this up. Is that a costume? Yeah, let's hold on to that one. Bet you guys didn't know he sold hats. <laughs> it's like, Karen, we know you sell everything. Oh, a safari hat. It's a little crushed. That almost looks like a costume piece. I don't worry about hats. Um, if I worried about hats, I wouldn't even buy them. I've never heard of anybody or I've never experienced any kind of bugs in hats. I don't know if these are sprayed. Linens are sprayed in the store um, in the back before they come out. They're sprayed. I think it's an alcohol spray but I'm sure there have been cases of people bringing different things home. Darn, it's not a Tilly. What is this one? On the fly? Oh, out fly. Yeah, just, it doesn't feel as good. 
not a bad hat, but I'm not going to even bother checking that one. All right, I think that's enough digging for now. Let's get back to the regular shelves and see what items are being brought out. But always look through the bins of hats, besides the belts and handbags. All right, just showing a quick view of comps. Now these first two are brand new. Three is brand new, first three. This is Tilly, Airflow hat, but it has the master symbol on it. That's why that brought such a high amount, 249, 265. Then we get into pre-owned, just regular Tilly hats, $80, $80. Is that crazy or what? And that was a pre-owned. Let's see what, here's a pre-owned here, 58 best offer, pre-owned 59 best offer, 55, 55, 59. So really good, strong comps for Tilly. Let's bring that out again. That is what it looks like. Really nice. And this one, so we got two of those. Great score. All right, here are the comps for the hats in the Belfry. Uh, bowler, I call this, B-O-L-L-E-R. I guess it could be Fedora also. So the first one, 35, 20, 30 was new, 45. That was a green one, that's a great sale. So this is probably similar to what we have here, the 29.87 plus shipping. We're definitely, oh, 35, 55. Yeah, really strong comps. I'm gonna grab this one too. All right, four hats. That was a great 30 seconds of finding profit. Whenever I see china or dishes in these quilted, protective covering case carrying things, I always unzip them to take a look because very rare do you find Corel in here or, yeah, you could, but more times than not, I find dishes that are really nice quality. This is what I found in this one, seven teacups and seven saucers. That is a beautiful pattern. This is Wedgwood. And don't be a goofball like me. <laughs> when I first started selling Wedgwood, I put W-E-D-G-E -E wood, and eBay will recognize it, but Wedgwood is W-E-D-G wood. Somehow I didn't know that. And I was like, why are my things not getting views? And then I looked at the spelling. So sometimes spelling does count. Bone China. I think this is the Chester pattern. Look how pretty that is. And I wish there were six or eight. I might sell it in a set of six because seven is just so odd. And I don't do a lot of teacups and saucers. And I will have these for a while. All of those disclaimers. But this is a beautiful set. So I will go through them one last time to make sure no chips or cracks. But I am definitely picking these up. I'll carefully put these back in and zip up the case. Let's take a look at the price. $5 for seven cups and seven saucers. Great find. I'm gonna stop naming the aisles. I have no idea what aisle this is. I could use a gravy boat. <laughs> There's that. The other night we had gravy and I had to serve it in a Pyrex measuring cup. I don't know. My housekeeping is not what it used to be. All right. He's very cute. I don't know who's putting him out. $3.99. Isn't that adorable? Not very well painted. I'm such a stickler for good painting. Ugh. Meanwhile, I can't paint a thing. Although I can paint rooms. If you ever need a room painted, I'm really good at it. Probably because I've painted more rooms in my life. I've painted the outsides of my houses. Crazy. All right, we are down this aisle. Looks like a holiday situation. Here's a little resin Santa. I don't know what that says. Looks like made in Japan, but I don't think so. I don't think so. We're gonna lay him down. He doesn't seem to want to stand up straight. He must be exhausted. Oh dear, she's made it to the top shelf. Look at that starry-eyed look. <gasps> Crazy. Hmm. Are we finding anything? Oh, she has dangly legs. I love a good dangly leg. Oh, a chicken with no beak. Where is his beak? That would have been good if he had a beak. He's not real wood though. You would think he is, but he's not. He's resin. Step away. Okay. <laughs> Can we talk about horn cups? This is real horn. $3.99. I can't remember if I sold the one I had. I feel like I did. 
Do I want a horn mug? I don't think these are as rare as you think. And I don't think they killed an animal. These are um, shed horns. Is that how the proper term? When animals shed their horns and they're collected and turned into something? All right, after all of that, I think I'm leaving it. That's probably a big mistake. I can't remember what those bring. Somebody look it up. Come on, you guys all just sitting around watching me. <laughs> Run comps for me. I'm just kidding, I love you guys. All right, that is that. Sometimes I wonder how long these things are sitting on the shelf. This is a true vintage iron doorstop. What? That is adorable. And I like that it's a smaller one because iron has so much weight. This would definitely, you know, prop a door. This could also be used as a bookend, right? Yep. That is really cute. $2.99. I'm grabbing that. <laughs> Does it get any better than this? Look at these Russian nesting dolls, all older. Oh, the cats. Aren't these wonderful? What? Boris Yeltsin. I have never seen such a large nesting doll in real life. And they were all in there. I'll have to take them out and put them out on a table at home so we can see what this looks like. Now, some of them have a little bit of paint damage. They've been taped too. So the ones that have tape on them, I'm gonna have to carefully peel the tape off. Oh, these are wild. $3.99, look how good this is. Nesting dolls are always good. $1.99, $1.99, $2.99. Ooh, she's expensive. She's very fancy. $1.99. Okay, is this Abraham Lincoln? I believe it is. $2.99. Looks like a different language. Oh yeah, Abraham Lincoln. Did somebody make this? $19.92. We've got rabbits and cats and dolls. I love this. I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be over the moon happier. Over the moon and Pluto. This is just wonderful. I am definitely putting all of these right in my cart. Hopefully I'll try to set them up at home to show you guys how cute these are. I just found this on another shelf and brought it over because I didn't want to get somebody in my in my video I'm trying not trying not to film too many people. This is quite cool. Look at the plug, older, with the twisty turn on. I kind of like that. Three ninety nine. It has weight to it. Okay, so what does it say? A hurricane lamp, underwriter's laboratory. Okay, they want you using a 60 watt candelabra lamp. That's what's in there. I like this. I think this is good for Christmas. I think this is good on a bookshelf, on a stack of books somewhere. It's very, I don't know, really nice. Very much putting this in my cart. Very heavy, definitely made of metal. That's all I got. That one's going in the cart. Well, the basket aisle is quite empty. Where are my basket donators? Oh, this is sweet. Like a little seashore collecting. Wouldn't this be cute to walk along the shore and collect shells in this? Okay, I got a whole story in my head. This is adorable. Oh, somebody even lined it. Oh, this is better. Even better with a sailing ship cloth. Definitely vintage. Look how cute that is. $3.99. I don't even see broken shells. I think this is in great shape. Oh, absolutely, yes. It's got good weight to it, too. I love that. 
Do we love a good basket? Yes, we do. All right, we have a, what are those called? A column, a corbel, there's a name, a balustrade. I don't know, I have all these words in my head that none of them are probably being pronounced correctly, but there's that. You guys love me anyway, don't ya? Let me squeeze past down this aisle. Got some pottery on the bottom, modern. All right, I am feeling really good about this cart. I think I love everything. <laughs> Better yet, it'll all make a good profit. Do you want to show the people our rabbit? Are you looking something up? I'll wait. Uh, that's all right. His appendages do move. Okay, so first of all, he's $9.99, and we saw somebody else grab him. He's very heavy. This is the company Ditz, D-I-T-Z. Look at the size of this rabbit. Now we kind of have an argument going on. I want to sell them on Facebook Marketplace. And I want to put them in the booth for the not for sale sign along. <laughs> he is very cool. And yep, we're buying him. He's my purchase. Unless you want to buy him. <laughs> Look how cool that is. How could you not love a white rabbit? That's big. If we sold him, what do you think we'd get for him? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking 150, <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna be sitting on that rabbit for a while though, but he is kind of cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah, for $10, we're definitely picking him up. He even has his company name sewn inside his ear. Let's look inside his ear. See that? And he's got really good tags on his feet. And everything is like movable. Look at that. How cool is that? He doesn't want to do it with that arm. <laughs> yeah, this one might be. He might have a broken arm. I don't know. Unbend his elbow, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on here? If I only could have seen a small video of my life, you might like have to take him to the vet. Yeah. <laughs> he is really cool. I know for sure we're on the dishes aisle. I can recognize it right away. <laughs> oh, this even has its spout protector still on it. That is new. I doubt anybody's gonna put a spout protector on it to donate a used item. Unfortunately, I don't know what that says. I can't even tell. Can't even tell. Some old-fashioned dishes here. What are these? Okay, they're little glass votive holders or tea light holders. We have a bowl here. This is Titanware. Green Elm. Made for F and B Royal Adams Ivory England. That is beautiful. Dollar ninety nine. I see. Oh, look at my nails. Well, my hands took a beating today digging. <gasps> Wore my manicure right off my fingernails. Um, yeah, little tiny chip there. I do like this. I don't know what the resale value is. And you know me. I'm usually very much a stickler for chips, but I think that one is so little. Yeah, I think I'm getting that. That's really nice. All right, these are my carts. Keeping an eye on my carts. That nobody takes all my good stuff. That is that there. All right, but it's too hard to push two carts. So we're just going to move the carts to the end of the aisle that I'm shopping in. And that's how we're gonna do that. There's a bowl down here that says Cedar Point. Oh, it tricked me. It was a saucer inside a bowl. Souvenir of Cedar Point, Dresden. Where are the rest of them? I think this is decorative only. I mean, you could eat off of it, but would you want to eat on top of these people? That's strange. Okay, some more older plates. Look like quite a few older plates got donated, so that is always an exciting thing. There is a picture back here. Whoa, you really gotta reach in for that one. Gold Eagles. Oh, Renee Kelly donated her picture. And here are comps for our picture. 
colonial aura themed. <laughs> Let's see what the picture is going for. Uh, 1999, it's sold. But $20 cannot entice me to ship a glass pitcher, and there's only one of them. So we'll be waiting on that. But it's always good to run comps, and right there, right in the moment. I probably won't remember that next week of what it would bring, but I know it now. Here's a cookie jar. We all know this is Ray Dunn. Okay, 25th anniversary. Somebody was married 25 years and got this lovely sugar creamer set. What is it, a sugar sugar set? <laughs> oh, how sweet. The sugar sugar set. Is that left in? It's left in. I didn't know you could buy uh, wedding anniversary celebratory pieces from Lepton. Learn something new every day. These are interesting. What are these? Looks like a Japanese pattern. Sensation. Okay. Trying to see if anything is catching my eye. 50th anniversary. This looks like Sango but it's not, hand decorated. 22 karat gold. All right, let's make a U-turn and come back down the other side. We are on the mugs aisle. Texas Tea Cup, Birmingham, Alabama. Military service. The fireball, oh. The Fireball Squadron, Fighting 522, Ernie's Cup. Who donated Ernie's Cup? Doesn't even look like Ernie drank coffee out of it. It's got dust in it, that's about it. I guess Ernie was staying off the caffeine if he was flying fighter jets. That's good to know. Oh, toothpick holder. What does that even say, lead crystal? So hold your toothpicks. Very fancy one. Not seeing much else here. Christmas mug. What is this little piece? I'm not even sure what that does or what that is. Oh, this is lovely. Is this for consomme? That looks like bone china. That is so pretty. that says once the the video gets published you can see it better Czechoslovakia made in Czechoslovakia that is very pretty unfortunately the paint is wearing off and there's only one of them okay this is for all you mug lovers all the all my followers who say I should buy single mugs which one do I buy I don't see anything all that great Prima design. Oh, and our little Madame Alexander doll is still on the shelf. Poor thing. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.